This is my 2020 SRS. This is my second one, and I had a SRF, all that had this problem. The blue charger is the zero charger that can be 110 or 220, and this white one is a must art uh, 240 volt, 32 amp, plugged into a plug that's got 240 amp breakers, charges my electric car and this bike just fine if you do the right thing. So here's what I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to try this 220. Notice the bike is off. And plug it in. You can see the bike's turning on. You'll notice there's no error indicators on the bike. Leaving zero amps and zero kilowatts going to do this for a few seconds and then the fans are going to shut down and then it's going to stop right now the charger indicates that it has power applied so i know that's happening and i have another video with an oscilloscope and voltmeters to show all this so here takes another 10 15 seconds and it will shut down and not charge This will happen with the zero charger plugged into 220 also. Just easier for me to do this demo using both of them. As you can see, it failed. The charger charge light went off. I'm going to remove this 220 and plug this in that's plugged into a 110 circuit. So zero charger, 110, plugged into a 20 amp outlet. Doesn't seem to want to take a charge. I reseated the, the 110 charger. Not sure what that was all about. That's not normal. The 110 charger is coming up. You'll notice that the bike is now charging. The amps are reading and the kilowatts are going up and the little green charge light is on. I leave it here for a few seconds. I'm going to disconnect this and plug the 220 back in. Okay, and now I'm going to put the 220 back in. bike comes up the charger just clicked indicating that it's supplying power now and look the bike is charging does this every time uh, it takes about 25 minutes of inactivity for the bike to return to it won't take a charge on 220 unless you do the 110 dance first I don't know if it'll do it in a shorter amount of time. I just know that if you wait 25 minutes or longer and repeat this process, it always works. So this is a bit odd because I've seen this charge where the, the current goes up to 50 amps and 5.7 kilowatts. Right now it's hovering at 27 amps, 2.8 kilowatts. That's not always the case either. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to just plug it back in again and see what happens.
bike is once again charging. And again, it's leveling off at 27 amps instead of 50. Um, don't know what to say about that. Doesn't always stop here. Anyways, uh, why do I have to plug in 110 at all uh, to make this work? Whether it's the Zero charger on 220 or this Must Art charger on 220, both behave the same. The uh, Zero charger won't ever drive it up to 50 amps and 5.7 kilowatts. It tends to be these same numbers here.